welcome back to the channel once again thank you for your support and uh, this is a non-rugby related video because well basically last night was Uruguay and Namibia tomorrow is New Zealand playing against Italy got a little bit of a down day I'm going to be going to the stadium later to see the stadium run of New Zealand but I've got a little bit of time and one of the comments that keeps coming up in the comments is Tim how's van life and can we see the van so I've got a little bit of time I thought yeah go on then so I've been doing this for three weeks now, seven week trek across France and um, it has its challenges but on, on mornings like this I've got to say van life does sit quite well with me. <laughs> it, it can be lonely, it does miss your family at times but then oh, waking up with that as your view. It's alright isn't it? We're not too shabby. So yeah I'll, I'll take a minute, I'll show you around. So I've done a bit of a mixture of staying in um, like paid for parks where you pay a small amount of money and then you get an electric hookup and shower block facilities and all of that. But then occasionally you just find a spot on the side of a road, which is exactly what I've done here. Um, look, it's just a public road. A couple of other people have got the same idea. And... <laughs> This is, uh, this is the van, the Ford Nugget. Um, let me show you around. So that's the driver cab in here. It's got loads of gadgets and stuff. It's really nice to drive, I've got to say. Um, all the gizmos and gadgets, obviously I've got the, I've got the little, uh, whatever these are called, to keep, the, to keep the sun out, to keep it nice and cool while I was sleeping or keep it warm if it gets cold, either way around. Um, there's the middle bit here, which um, this is pretty neat actually. So this one's got the kitchen and stuff at the back, which I'll come to that in a minute. So this middle bit is a, it's like a little chair situation. These, um, these chairs do turn round and I've got a little desk I can work on here, which is pretty neat. So that's, that's where I'll sit and do a load of my work. Um, but I can turn these chairs around so it's like a, a table set up. So you could have four, four or five people sat quite comfortably around this. It is just me in this van. Curtains and stuff everywhere. I can open those now, it's daytime. Yeah, it's a really neat setup. So this is quite often where I'll sit and record bits for the bits for the radio when I have to make calls back to the UK or I have to do a bit of work and um, yeah the kitchen's around the back as I say and one thing which people have asked me a, a couple of questions just hygiene, hygiene questions um, when I am here on my own and there's no facilities I'm just parked by the side of a road yes it does have a it does have a toilet um, keep it mellow yellow in there only um, and try to use it as infrequently as I can. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's, that's the setup at the back. As you can see, I've popped the, popped the roof open. The, um, this does fold out into a bed as well. So uh, when I've had, in that first weekend in Marseille, um, Alfie couldn't find anywhere to stay. Um, and so he bunked in as well. But I sleep up there and again let me just demonstrate to you what it, so yeah the bed's up there and it is properly sprung look proper springs very comfortable i have to say so uh that is where i sleep and that was my view from bed this morning which is pretty amazing isn't it so yeah back back here as well as where well is the bathroom actually let me let me talk you through the so yeah there is a toilet there is also because this is another question i've had how do you how and where do you shower tim well again quite often go to places where they have shower blocks but this thing oop, does have a water tank and it does have a shower. So if I wanted to go for a swim 
in that lake, I could quite comfortably rinse off with the shower there, which is neat, I have to say. And then check out the kitchen. It's absolutely awesome. Really wicked setup. Like I've got, ch check this out as well, right? So I'm, I'm doing van life, but occasionally I need to look smart. Got a shirt hanging up. Um, got the wardrobe with all my, all my clothes in. I've got this little bit where I keep all my shoes. Oh, hold on, can you see that? That's where I keep all my shoes in there. Little compartment down there where I keep my laundry, dirty laundry until I actually get it washed. Um, ch check this out, this is just like all mod cons and stuff. This isn't, I'm not really roughing it like in some vans. So, <laughs> control panel. If I, I've turned the, the thermostat on once, the, the heating on once when it was really cold that night in St Etienne. So I turned that on and it just runs it off the diesel that's in the, in the engine. Um, but other than that, from the, from the battery, you can charge like lights and stuff. Oh, and check out, check out the, um, check out the lighting. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. So, um, yeah, it's a really neat setup. Um, but, and yeah, got a gas cooker. In fact, I'll, I'll get a cup of tea on. Gas hob. And a fridge. Which is awesome. And look, I'll tell you what, a couple of little things I've learned as well. Because I don't know about you, but when I'm traveling abroad, I'm, I'm always, always worry about the data that I'm using. I've got myself a little gizmo here, which um, I've put a SIM card in, and I can just hammer the data on that one. I've used nearly 70 gigabytes of data on that SIM, and that means that I can just fire it from there to my phone, to the laptop, whatever I need. So, um, yeah, and there's all sorts of electric points and stuff so it is, it is like a home from home obviously very small it's just me but to be honest all, all the gadgets in the world don't matter when you can sit and wake up looking at that to be perfectly honest so yeah i am going to make myself a cup of tea now i think cheers i don't know if you can see the fella just fishing on his boat just out there this is so peaceful gorgeous and a lot of people said before I came that France is really well set up for traveling like this and they're so right I mean I've got very few other countries to compare it to but France is an absolute dream for it they seem to be pretty chilled out you can just as long as you're not in anyone's way crack on go where you want do what you want and uh, so more and more I've gone from going to the paid for campsites not expensive but you know you get facilities, electricity, and I've been taking advantage of the fact that this, this van's got a pretty, pretty good battery that lasts a while. And going off grid a bit more. It's been ace. So yeah, the rest of today is, actually, I, honestly, I don't know. I've got a little bit of work to do, which I'll sit at the desk and do in a minute. I've got to be at the stadium for half past two to see New Zealand. And then, I don't know, I might mooch into Leon, see what's going on there. But there we go. I hope that's answered your question. That is van life. See you on the next one.